Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. Today I am going to be sharing with you guys this one pot cheeseburger macaroni meal that I cooked for my family this weekend. That was really, really good and we really enjoyed it. So if that's something that interests you, make sure you hit that red subscribe button in the corner there and give this video a big thumbs up and stay tuned for this yummy, gooey, delicious recipe. So for this recipe, you are going to need five slices of bacon that are chopped up into bite-sized pieces, one pound of ground beef, two and a half cups of cheddar cheese, three and a half cups of macaroni noodles or any other noodle you want, one and a half cups chicken broth, two cups of milk, I am using whole milk, and then one pan and salt and pepper to taste. So the first step is in your large skillet, you are going to put the bacon pieces and you are gonna go ahead and brown those up until they are nice and crispy, whatever desired crispiness you like. I personally like my bacon really crispy, so I waited until these were pretty done. And you're just gonna let them cook until they get there. And once they are all crispy, you are gonna remove them from the pot and put them onto a plate with a paper towel that will soak up any of the extra grease that is left over from the bacon. Step two is to cook the ground beef. So you're just gonna take the ground beef and add it to the same pot. I left the bacon grease in there and everything so that it would kind of season the beef while I was cooking it. And you're just gonna cook the beef over medium high heat, stirring often until it is brown completely. Um, I did also put some pepper in here. You could add some salt or some seasoning salt or chili powder if you wanted, whatever type of seasonings you wanted. I just did pepper this time. Um, we, I try not to cook with salt because I do have a 15 month old baby at home. And so I try not to cook with too much salt and I just add salt to my own personal bowl later on. And that way my baby's not getting too much salt, but you could definitely add salt if you wanted to. Once the meat is all browned and everything is cooked thoroughly, you are going to drain your meat. So you're gonna get all that excess baking grease and all the excess fat from the meat out. And then you're gonna return the meat back to that same pan to start with the next steps. Now that your beef is all cooked, you are going to add the macaroni noodles, your broth, your milk, and your salt, and half of the cooked bacon into the pan. I did add the milk slowly, so I added all the broth at first, all the macaroni, and my salt and pepper to the pan, and then I slowly poured in milk as I went, as if the macaroni cooked, and I needed more liquid to be added to it. I do cover the pan and let the noodles cook until they become al dente. That can take anywhere from 10 to 15 minutes. You just want to continue to check your noodles and adding more liquid as it's needed to make sure that the noodles get cooked thoroughly through. Once your noodles are cooked to al dente, you are just gonna wanna make sure there's a little bit of liquid still in the pan. You're gonna wanna make sure the liquid is hot. And then you're gonna wanna go ahead and add your cheese. This recipe does call for two and a half cups of cheese. So you'll wanna add at least two of the cups now. I did end up adding a little bit more. So here you see me measuring two cups and then pouring just a little bit more in because in my house, we don't measure cheese. <laughs> we add as much or as little cheese as we want, which 
let's be honest, it's as much as we want. So I just went ahead and added a whole lot of cheese and mixed that in with the macaroni. And then afterwards I did coat the top of the pasta with cheese as well and put the lid back on to just let that cheese all melt into the pasta. So it had like this nice golden cheesy melty topping to it. And this is what it looked like in the end. Like I said, it had that cheesy gooiness all over it, which was amazing. And here you see me, I'm dishing up some for my son. I didn't want any extra bacon in his. Like I said, he's only 15 months old and bacon is just a little hard to chew still. But we did use the remainder of the bacon and put it on top of my husband and our mine's individual bowls as well. So we each had some extra bacon. But we loved this meal, my whole family did. It was so good. Um, you can put salt and pepper on it to season to your personal taste afterwards and it's just really delicious if you guys enjoyed this recipe make sure you give this video a big thumbs up it really helps me out and make sure you are subscribed if you are new here hit that red subscribe button in the corner turn on your bell notification so you don't miss any of my uploads i do upload new recipes at least once a month so make sure you're checking those out we'll see you guys next time bye y'all